Hello guys, it's the guy Steven Wolf, and today we are going to do AEW Full Gear Predictions. Now, I've got the match card right here in front of me, and other than doing this with David like I mostly do, I couldn't go today because Mom is in Daytona right now. So, I'm going to give you my predictions and my reasons. And why I chose them. I nominate this to Scott and David if they comment on this uh, video. Let's get started. <clears throat> now, we're going to do this randomly. So, I'm going to start with the AEW World Championship. Chris Jericho versus Cody Rhodes. Three judges will be available for the tiebreak if the match goes beyond 60 minutes. And if Cody doesn't win... He will never challenge their championship again, which I find heartbreaking. Anyway, I'm going to choose Cody for this one because Cody gave a hell of a damn promo. Way better promo than WWE could ever come up with. Sorry, Vince, but that's just me. So, Cody for the win, unless... I'll give you guys a bonus prediction that the inner circle will come out and interfere. Cody fights him off, somehow wins the title... So, I pick Cody Rhodes for the win. <clears throat> Next, it's going to be Joey Janela versus Son Spears with Tully Blanchard. Now, I have a feeling Tully Blanchard is related to somebody. I think he's related to Tessa Blanchard. Or Blanchard. How do you say I'm going to say Joey Janela because Janela is still good in the ring. He has plenty of potential. And Son Spears is one hell of a heel. So, that's my pick. Uh, next, I am going to with Adam Page versus Pac. Um, hmm. This is a tough one to call. They're both good. And I think last I checked, Pac is still undefeated. But I'm going to choose Adam Page to get his... Revenge, get payback, and be the first one to possibly end Pac's undefeatedness. Next up is the Young Bucks versus Santina and Otis. Um, the Santina and Otis claim to be the best tag team champions. That's when they were in TNA, but they claim to be the best tag team, which I don't see. That's complete bullshit. They haven't proved it yet, which is, makes me wonder, why were they not in the tag team tournament? That makes me wonder why they were not in the tournament. But anyway, um, the Young Bucks are like one of the best in the world, too. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Lucha Brothers, and they put on a hell of a show. Um, I don't know how to call this one down. I really do not know. Um... Let me see. I'm going to choose... Oh, boy. I'm going to choose the Young Bucks because I have a feeling the Young Bucks need to get back in the winning streak after they lost to Private Party in the tag team tournament. So, I'm picking Young Bucks. Next is John Moxley versus Kenny Omega in an unsanctioned lights out match. So, are they going to fight in the dark? Like, are they really going to fight in the dark? Now, usually I would pick the faces in most of these predictions, but I'm going to pick John Moxley. Because, um, who can compare to a guy who's crazy with a baseball bat? That's like, um, I'm a mind of a sting with his baseball bat. Um, unless no one interferes, like, um, Pack or someone, Moxley, for the win... Let's do this here. Uh, let me see. What else is on this card? Oh, yeah, the buy-in. I almost forgot. Britt Baker taking on Bria Priestley? Now, Miss Baker, she's not that bad. But the other one, I haven't seen in action yet. But I'm just going to say this. Britt Baker, because she needs a few more wins under her belt if she wants to prove... That she deserves a future title shot for the Women's Championship. And speaking of the Women's Championship, it's Sensei versus Student. Rio, the champion, taking on Imi Sakura. Now, 
somehow Amy Sako pinned the champion to get this opportunity, which is unbelievable. So I'm going to say this right here, right now, that the champion is going to retain her title because he just won it. That's, she's the only one so far who can fit the damn title because she's so, well, you know, like a toothpick, if you guys know what I mean. So, yeah. So I covered the, the World Championship, the Women's Championship, on Sanction Match, Young Bucks, Hangman, Pack, Joey Janela, the buy-in. Now, here's where it gets tough. SCU versus Lucha Brothers versus Private Party for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Mmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I can't decide here. Um, like I usually do, I'm going to pick two people, two teams. First, I'm going to say so-called uncensored because they just got those titles and they might have found a, a cheap way to win against the Lucha Brothers, who I picked, who was hoping it was going to win, even though I predicted it was going to be Lucha Brothers and um, SCU. But it is what it is. But in my second pick, I'm going to pick the Lucha Brothers because they've won the MLW Tag Team Championships. They won, I think, the AAA Tag Team Championships. The Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championships. And they say they're the best tag team in the universe. Well, if the Lucha Brothers are watching this, they haven't faced the Hardys. Um... Let me see who else they haven't been. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Undertaker and Kane. And I can name all sorts of damn tag teams from the past and the present they haven't faced yet to prove that they are the best. But that's who I'm picking. SCU and the Lucha Brothers. I nominate this to Scott and David, who, who are probably watching this right now, to make their predictions down in the comments below. Now, um, Survivor Series and NXT TakeOver is going to be here soon because Raw, SmackDown, NXT, it's going to be hell for all of us to who, who we're going to pick. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Happy Wolf Day. I'll see you guys tonight for another round of Friday the 13th. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you tonight.